Healthcare really is quite unique in, in a host of different ways. One which stands out quite a bit is that we spend more per capita in this country on healthcare from all sources than any other country in the world. This class is probably the single class that is most at the junction of not-for-profit, for-profit, and public sector finance. Hi, I'm uh, Howie Foreman. I'm a professor of radiology at the Yale School of Medicine, and I'm also appointed to the School of Management, where I spend about half of my time. So why do we even study healthcare as a separate industry? So, you know, we have a $3.2 trillion healthcare economy in this country, and it is complicated. It's complicated both by regulations, by the fact that 45% of all our spending comes from tax dollars, by the fact that we have a lot of nonprofit, not for profit actors out there. And so being able to go through each part of the healthcare industry, whether we're talking about the drug, uh, you know, the prescription drug industry, or whether we're looking at the federal Medicare program or the state-run Medicaid program, or whether we're talking about the economics underlying health insurance, which ultimately gets to the issues around healthcare reform, there's a lot to cover that is just unique to healthcare and that can't be just drawn from other management disciplines. So I'm not trying to take away from the fact that there is real excellence, there's amazing innovation, and that we do some great things in this country. But it does beg the question of what value do we get for this extraordinary amount of money, which, by the way, has an impact on both public and private finances. And when you consider its impact on our competitiveness, it starts to matter. There are so many unintended consequences of law and regulation and how even the most well-meaning person who's working in Washington doing all the right things by society will probably introduce some inefficiencies and how do we deal with them, how do we face up to those challenges and how do we do the most good for the most people I think are things that are more natural in the healthcare space than they are in any other areas. I find a lot of students that will come back and even talk to me that, you know, I didn't go into health healthcare, but God, I, things that I learned in your class have an impact in my consulting practice or in my role as CEO of a relatively small company. Um, there's lots of ways in which I think understanding our healthcare system and the challenges of our healthcare system inform you to be a better leader. Improve the market that way, but accept that some people... Anybody who teaches knows that you learn a lot from the students. You learn from their questions. It forces you to be a better expert on topics when you're dealing with elite students, whether it's our undergraduates, our management students, our medical students, and so on. Many of these patients have substance abuse, alcohol abuse issues, mental illness, and we don't necessarily deliver optimal care to them. And part of it is that our health insurance system and our delivery system are so fragmented. Some of these individuals may be on Medicaid sometimes and under So, you know, time. I've been practicing medicine now for about 27 years. You know, it's amazing the accumulation of anecdotes you have to be able to tell in the classroom to explain a particular situation. But nothing is more intimate and nothing is more meaningful than telling an anecdote from the evening before. The school has been deeply committed to areas that are emerging as important areas of focus in scholarship, and healthcare is an amazing example of that.